like I said, we're going to be recapping all of the signings, all of the commitments for the class of 2019. Last time I talked about it, there was only four guys, and now, well, there's 14 of them. So let's go ahead and get into it. And the first guy we're going to be talking about is Pierce Quick, the five-star prospect from Trustville, Alabama. Quick is the Tide's longest tenure commitment in the 2019 class, and after making decision on A Day in 2017, the five-star tackle is considered one of the leaders in the class alongside quarterback Paul Tyson. Quick recently shut down his recruitment in terms of taking other visits and is solely focused on helping Alabama build its class like I have reported on before. And why did he choose Alabama? Well, he said, well, I grew up an Alabama fan and I had the opportunity to play there. The day I figured out it was one of the best days of my life. Now to say that I am a commit of the University of Alabama is absolutely incredible. Next guy we're going to be talking about is Kevin Harris, a defensive end out of Georgia. So Harris committed to the Crimson Tide over Miami earlier the few weeks ago, vaulting the Tide back atop the 24-7 composite team recruiting rankings. The Georgia Grayson product projects as a jack linebacker in the Tide's defense, which is definitely a position of need. And why did he choose Alabama? He said, just making me think about long-term stuff in terms of going to the NFL. It's going to be the first big decision of my life, and I think making Alabama my number one school was the best choice for me. All right, next guy we're we talking about, and this guy is a total stud. It's Antonio Alfano, and he's one of the nation's most heavily recruited players, and he chose Alabama over a lot of top programs. So the 24-7 Sports National Recruiting Analyst Brian Doan said he's really quite an interesting fit for Alabama because they also want him to play their jack position. Now he's got a great first step, he's powerful, and what separates him is his flexibility. It allows him to get underneath offensive linemen. He's got a good change of direction and really good hands, and he also has a desire to continue to play hard despite getting double teamed all the time. So he is definitely going to be a huge, huge um, tool, if you will, for that Alabama defense moving forward. All right, next guy we're going to be talking about is Amari Kite. Now, Amari Kite is the latest addition to the 2019 class, and he released an exclusive video with 24-7 Sports talking about his commitment to Alabama. Now, he was a teammate of Tulia Tungavailoa, and he had a number of suitors, including Auburn, LSU, Oklahoma, Tennessee, among others. And why did he choose Alabama? He said it was the tradition was there. They have to, they're about the being the best program in all of college football in the country, and they've been so consistent over the last decade. And I have to say, Coach Saban puts a lot of people in the NFL, so it definitely seems like a lot of these players are seeing the, the trend, if you will, of Alabama players going into the NFL. All right, let's go to Christian Williams. And now he's a cornerback also from the state of Alabama, so it's easy to say that Nick Saban and crew definitely put a fence around the state of Alabama this recruiting cycle. Now, Christian Williams grew up an Alabama fan, but before making a commitment, took a number of visits elsewhere to make sure the Tide was the school for him. The four-star corner ultimately decided it was the best option over programs like Auburn, LSU, and Tennessee. And why Alabama? He said, honestly, I've been talking to my parents and coaches about it. I wanted to commit a little bit earlier, but my parents wanted me to take visits to other places to see if it was the right choice. And eventually it really was the right choice for me. Honestly, Alabama is where I wanted to go since I was a little kid and it just felt right at the time. Also, I really see it as a secure place for me to begin my career. All right, the next guy that we're going to be talking about is Brandon Turnage. Now, he's an athlete out of the state of Mississippi. Turnage was an early commitment for the 2019 class, making his decision known during the early signing day period in December. The Mississippi product continues to take visits elsewhere, but when asked about his status, he says he remains firm in his pledge. So remember that, guys. The four-star athlete, who likely projects as a safety, says one of the biggest reasons he chose the Tide was for its sports medicine. So he's an athlete and a scholar. And he said, what really made the decision for me is that I had an injury, so I tore my ligament in my foot. And Bama has players they have tears and have worked out for these players ultimately during their career in college football. So having that plus that one to be what I study, that was a big factor for me. All right, let's go on to King and Wakuda. Now he is a linebacker also from the state of Georgia, and he was one of the first commitments in the class when he announced his intentions back on December 15th, his birthday nonetheless. Now the four-star linebacker chose Bama over Miami and Florida State, and he's the Tide's one most solid pledges in the class, and he recently admitted that his dream school was Miami, but the Tide fans should not worry. He said, why did I choose Alabama? It was a lot of stuff. I 
I tell them that you can be good one day, great one day, the next, but here you're going to be a champion. And that's why I chose Alabama. It's not drowning out other schools. I mean, Miami was my dream school. I was a diehard Miami fan, but at the end of the day, I knew Bama was going to get me where I needed to be. So I absolutely agree with that. I think you made the right decision, King. Let's go on to Tanner Bowles. Now he's one of those elite offensive linemen I've been talking about. And he'd be mentioned as a target twice for Alabama but he eventually committed and the four star tackle was from Kentucky and he knew Alabama was where he wanted to go basically from day one. So he's six foot five, 280 pounds and he chose actually Alabama over his home state Wildcats as well as Florida State and Notre Dame. And why did he choose Alabama? He said, quite frankly, I just loved it. It was amazing. It's everything I thought it was plus more. So I need to go to Alabama to make sure it's what I wanted and make sure that I could verbally commit with Nick Saban there. And ultimately that's exactly what I did. Next I we're gonna be talking about, and we all know this name, it's Tulia Tungavailoa, quarterback out of Alabama. But we also know he spent some time in Hawaii as well. And it was clear Alabama hoped to sign two quarterbacks since 2019 cycle after originally not bringing on a quarterback in the 2018 cycle. Both Tyson and Tonga Vailoa were identified as priority targets for Alabama. So Tyson joined the class after earlier in the month, but Tonga Vailoa followed late, not too long later in suit. So he committed to Alabama over Nebraska, South Carolina, Tennessee, just to name a few. And why did he choose Alabama? He said it was a blessing for both me and my brother to go to the same school. It's what we've always wanted to do, so we had to hop on the opportunity to make sure that could happen. All right, next guy we're talking about is Shane Lee. Now, Shane Lee, he's another linebacker, and he's from the state of Maryland. I talked about how Maryland's definitely becoming a huge place for Alabama to get some guys as of late. And Lee didn't want to make a commitment after taking his first ever visit to Tuscaloosa last month. The former teammate of UA signee Ayabi Anoma chose the tide over Ohio State, Penn State, and among others. And why did he choose Alabama? He said, just because of everything it stands for. Coach Saban talked about hard work and really developing you as a person and a football player. Just the fact that winning is the expectation, not the goal, that's the kind of environment you can really learn to thrive in. Let's talk about another quarterback, and it is Bear Bryant's great-grandson, Paul Tyson. And this guy is another stud, and he'll be battling out with Tulia come 2019. He was one of the first recruits to get the momentum started for the Tide in early in the month of April. Um, he committed over LSU, Michigan, Tucky, and Notre Dame, just to name a few. And he was the uh, first scholarship quarterback for the Tide since Tua joined the 2017 class. And why did he choose Alabama? Well, I feel like this one's kind of obvious, obviously because of Bear Bright, his great grandfather. But he also said that Alabama is home to him. It's what he's always seen. It's what he was always growing up around. And just the ride and the recruiting process, Alabama was always a great fit for him. The coaching staff, especially with the new coaches, works out to be with his type of offense. It's close to home. Home, and with everything, it just works out perfectly and is meant to be. All right, let's take a look at DJ Dale. Now, he's a defensive tackle also from the state of Alabama. He committed just recently over Auburn, Clemson, Florida State, and Tennessee, just to name a few. He's a second defensive lineman, a major position of need for the Alabama Crimson Tide to join the class. And the product made up his mind during a visit to A Day. So that is it for DJ Dale and the 2019 recruiting class. Let's take out a look at Rashad Cheney now. Now, he's also a defensive tackle, and he is from Georgia. Georgia as well. And for Rashad Cheney, Alabama needs defensive linemen in 2018, and Cheney was identified as a top target for them very early. And he was a one time Georgia commit. Then he reopened his recruitment at the end of January, and it didn't take too long for him to decide the tide was the school for him over Florida State, Georgia Tech, Penn State, just to name a few. He said, My goal is to be great, not just on the field, but off the field. I feel like Alabama will push me to be my best. Not saying other colleges don't do that, but it's Nick Saban, and that's just what he does. All right, now let's take a look at Will Reichard. Now he's a kicker, and we all know Alabama's had a little bit of drama with kickers recently, but this three-star kicker from Alabama seems to be very, very solid products. Now he chose a Crimson Tide last Wednesday over Georgia, LSU, and among others. And when talking about it, he said, I just love it. I knew my heart was in Alabama. I knew that's where I needed to go. I had this feeling in my heart, I would say, the past couple of weeks or so. I didn't see it changing, so I just wanted to go ahead and get locked in with my dream school. And at six foot one, 185 pounds, he was the number two kicker in the country for the class of 2019. Let's, Let's go ahead and quickly recap the 2019 recruiting class update. We got Pierce Quick, Amari Kite, Antonio Alfano, Shane Lee, and Christian Williams. And then moving on, we got Kevin Harris, excuse me, Brandon Turnage, the athlete, King Mwakuda, 
Kuda, Tulia Tungavailoa, and Rashad Chenny. And then last we have Tanner Bowles, DJ Dale, Paul Tyson, and Will Richard. All right, quickly, I just want to ask you guys, do you think Alabama will remain the number one class through the 2019 recruiting cycle? Go ahead and give me a heart for yes, a thumbs up for no, we might drop. There's definitely still some time. I'm throwing up my heart. I'm thinking yes. After that recruiting cycle in 2018, I think Nick Saban and co are ready to be back at number one. All right, guys, that was Alabama Football Report. Thank you so much for tuning in. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Lana Bond Sports. And until next time, roll tide.